hi guys welcome back to my channel two days ago I uh, took a trip to Pennywise and wonderful will so just wanted to show you all what I got it's not a big hole it's a, a small hole so but I still want to show you all what I got the first thing I picked up was this container of q-tips with 500 in it and this was $20 I actually went for the one with um, I wanted the one that had 200 in it but I was $20 so when I saw this I was just like this makes more sense to, to buy. Next, this is my holy green hair remover. This looks real good. And this, when you shave, finish shaving your leg, it is the real smooth. I tried before, I tried the femme hair removal, and I also tried a different um, type of nail, but it didn't work as good. And it was they finish fast too like after one use it was complete it was technically finished you can really use it for like uh, you can really use it afterwards i also picked up this six pack of protect soap so usually i i use the only um sheer moisture um soap but as one of you can I decided to pick up this instead. It's not the best because it tends to dry out my skin very badly and I already have dry skin. So using this is not the best idea, but I just using this right now until you know I start back working out and I would be able to um to start back using the oil. So I also picked up this deodorant, it's the secret gel deodorant in the scent boho berry it don't really matter which scent because to me all is more or less the same thing i just prefer the gel because this works really well for me so i picked up this jet set here food it's a grease and it's it really thick yeah it's pretty thick i have real well, naturally dry hair right so just looking for something that could keep my hair moist so I just wanted to try this and see how it works. I never um I've never seen any reviews or anything on it but I still want to try it to see how it works. I picked up this sharpener just to sharpen like any um eyeliners or anything lip liners and what I liked about it is that it have the two holes it have a big one and a small one because i have like like the jumbo eye pencils too so that's why i wanted something that was um that had two two different sizes you all know as women we tend to to have a million on one of these and always losing them so I decided to pick up this um, extra large one because I have like smaller sizes and I also have like clips as well so I wanted this I ran out of this one last week so I just picked up a pack I wanted a new top coat because I was using this one and I think it was working good because I mean it's a clear top coat it's not really you don't really need much out of a clear top coat so I was using this one which was the kiss but I didn't see it when I went into Pennywise so I decided to pick up this one which is the simple simple colors brand So I wanted some new eyelashes and I couldn't really find any. It has this one that I saw on the PP chat room on Facebook. Somebody posted about I think it was Cherry Blossoms was the brand. I think $13 was red, but I went to Pennywise, Trin City and Tunapuna and they didn't have it. So I decided to to pick up this one. So I picked up this glue because this is this glue I think is one of the best glues. I always hear people talking about this this sassy eyelash glue. 
I used to use the Kiss brand. Right? I, this is overall good. It's just small. And this is, I think they're both 20 something dollars. Each color, I think it's the same same thing, just a different style that they have it in now, like a different packaging. And this is $26. And obviously, this is. Um, this is 0.25 ounces and this is 2 ounces so this is 20 and this is 25 so I mean you see which one makes more sense but I'm not sure how this would you know I hear people talking about it all the time so I want to try it to see how it works so I picked up this pack of disposable eyeshadow applicators because I wanted to use it for like um, applying glitter I had one from the brush set from before but as you can see it hanging by a thread <laughs> so I decided just to pick up this to use just was just to use for the um, the glitters so I picked up this for my sister she has natural hair and this is her holy grail when it comes to laying down her hair and her edges she goes through this in such a short amount of time you won't believe but it is all good for her with her natural hair so the last thing I got from Pennywise was this upset eyes apricot exfoliating scrub this is something that is used all the time and it works well it keeps your skin feeling like real smooth like when you finish using it it is be your faces feel real smooth and let's do this like about once once a week or once every two weeks but it's a nice exfoliator for your face I went into wonderful food and I just picked up two things I, I was looking for a, a sheer lip gloss just plain plain old school lip gloss I don't usually wear lipstick even though I have like one or two lipsticks and I have like some lip liners and stuff like that but I'm not really a fan of wearing lipstick so I just prefer like a normal like gloss right? I usually use this gloss which is from which I got from Avon a long time ago but it have like a as you can see it have like a reddish um, a reddish pinkish tone to it and it tends to be too harsh sometimes when I certainly looks I wear the pink shoes up too much so I just wanted something that was just plain so I just picked up this jelly lippy from um, RK which well Ruby Kisses then I wanted another eye pencil like to use for my eyebrows because I usually use the Jordana eye pencil but if anybody use Jordana they will know it's the worst to sharpen every time you sharpen it it just breaking it will never stay sharpened just as you sharpen it it just breaks so I just wanted something different also I um I use this Elegil gel eyeliner as well as from, from eyebrows but I just find it was too light and I just want something nice, you just want something like a little you know to make your, your eyebrows pop a little more so I wanted like a darker pencil first time I hear more the brand is NK NK makeup is the brand but they had testers in it and when I tested on my hair it was pretty dark so that's why I was like okay yes I wanted this This is the, yeah, it was dark enough for me because I tried something at first and I think it was the brand was LA Gill. I swatched it on my hand and I was like okay I will go with this but then I ended up finding this one and I thought it was it was much darker so I went with this one instead so maybe in the next upcoming makeup tutorial I will use it and see how well it works on my on my skin too so that's it for the haul there were a few a few other things that i wanted that i didn't get so the next week or so i might take another trip there so once i do 
I will do another haul for you guys. Look out for more upcoming uploads from me. I have a couple of makeup tutorials that I did that I, um, pre I edited already. It's just to upload them, so look out for that. I also have a boyfriend tag that I filmed the other day and i have to edit it as well so look out for those videos so please subscribe to my channel for all future uploads leave a thumbs up if you enjoyed click the notification bell as well to be notified as soon as i upload all my links to my show social media is in the description box so see you guys in the next video